Mm, be real about it. Don't deny it. If they are there, all you got to do is be real today, this moment, this second. If you've had those moments, be real. Don't deny it because it is real. You cannot just put them away as if they don't exist. No, you can't, you can't just put it away and say, you know what? This is not real. This is not happening. Yes, it is. It is real and it is happening. Amen. And you just can't put it away because we don't have the power to put it away. Hallelujah. We don't have the power to put it away, but we have to be real about where we're at so God can help us. Hallelujah. Every one of us fears something at one time or another. Amen. So don't feel like, oh my God, I, I, I'm losing my mind. Oh my God, this is crazy. No, you're not losing your mind. You're not crazy because all of us at one time or another have feared something. Amen. All of us have been in a place where fear has tried to ingrep our soul and make us a prayer, a friend, and make us feel like we have no hope. It's real, just like that. Amen. So even the great saints of scripture were a friend on occasions. Moses and Jeremiah feared their call to leadership. When they was called into the ministry, Moses and Jeremiah both, they was afraid. They didn't want to do it because they felt that they was inadequate. They started telling God about where they were and, and who they are and what they didn't have, and, and they couldn't do it. Moses said, I have a stuttering problem. Amen. I can't talk before the people because I stutter all the time. Amen. Jeremiah said, I ain't nothing but a child. How in the world are you going to use me? For grown people to tell them the word of God. You want me to go tell the people thus and thus and I'm only a child? Amen. So even when they were called into ministry, they got into fear. They became a friend. So you know what? When we get different challenges as different jobs or different